There you got All it. Right, yeah. Feel free to show the camera that. Yeah. Yep. What up? This is Yellow. Just tell me when. Okay, we're going. Hey, what up? This is Yellow Wolf, and you are watching Spliff Break. Band <laughs> City. All right. Welcome back to Vancouver Yellow Wolf. Yeah. Pleasure to meet you, my man. Of course. Yeah, man. Right off the hop here, uh, you know, being that you are, of course, with Beefy Dobson and she's from Ontario, uh, has relocating to Canada ever been something that's been on your mind at all? And if so, would Van City ever make the cut? Uh, we'd probably be in Toronto. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, I mean, you know, um, I don't know. It's such a hard border to, to get across. I don't know if I could deal with it for the rest of my life. <laughs> I'll go wherever she And it's goes, much colder so. than Nashville, but the hockey, beer, and bacon is fucking top notch. Yeah, like that. I, I was here in Toronto last year with PP during the ice storm on Christmas you know, in Toronto, and that was gnarly. <laughs> Never seen something like that before, <laughs> no, right? man. It was crazy. Uh, no, nah, but I love Canada, man. And of course, PP, you yeah, know, so. Dope, dope. Go she goes. Um, since uh, you know being on Eminem's uh, Shady Records, of course, uh, you've been uh, on a lot of tracks with Marshall and rap supergroup Slaughterhouse. I'm just curious: is ever have you ever thought about maybe creating your own rap supergroup, and possibly would it be Yellow Wolf, Ritz, Saha, the Prince, and Big Crip? Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I could. Uh, yeah, it's kind of yeah, sure. I mean, I, it's a possibility, but. I've never really even thought about it. And if I was to put a group together, who would it be? I don't think I could deal with it. <laughs> you know? It's a lot of personalities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like, Jesus, it's hard enough to write an album by myself, much less for other people. Yeah. You know? So, uh, I'll probably pass on the super group idea. I mean, I got pretty much a goddamn super group when I'm playing with Travis Barker, DJ Clever, and Bones Owens. I yeah. Mean, that's like, Nah, that's a, that's a nasty group. Of I wanted to talk about that. I mean, DJ Clever is not just a DJ. He's a world-class turntablist. You got Bones Owens, an amazing guitarist. Has their sound? How has that influenced your sound over time? Having those guys jam with you and work with you? Well, really, it's just a live show deal. You know what I mean? Like we really, uh, we really care about the live performance. I mean, the music is made in the studio, and we transform that live and how we see it. You know what I mean? And, not to fuck it up and like, uh, you know, play whack guitar lines over, you know, songs that don't need it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It, having a band over certain hip hop music can, is really sticky. You know, and it doesn't sound good. Mm -hmm. You know, some songs don't sound good with certain instruments and shit. So I don't know. We just pay attention. And as far as the performance goes, Clever and Bones are just maniacs. And so it all makes sense. Two-part question here. Uh, when performing on the road, what song do you personally enjoy performing live the most? And, and secondly, what song gets the most crowd reaction, gets the people pumped up the most when you're performing live? I mean, my new favorite record to perform live is Till It's Gone, hmm. for sure. Uh, it's a new record that I've put out recently. Um, yeah, it's just, it's the next stage, you know? Yeah. And so it's like, one, it's like it really is connecting with people, which is, you know, validates for me uh, ideas that I've tried to push for so long, you know what I mean? It just feels good, man. It's, it's a fun song to perform. I get to sing and you know, get to jam with bones and yeah, and what the song is about means a lot to me, so it's the money favorite. Right, right. And talk about that next stage. What is that next stage for Yellow Wolf? Uh, it's basically, you know, going back to my project, Arena Rap, which was before Trump Music. Um, I'm just bringing those ideas back and, and kind of meshing everything together and, you know, polishing it all, all those ideas that I've had for, you know, the past years, you know, that I uh, that I wanted, wanted to make happen. So it's gone and, and Box 85 are pretty good examples of sonically what, what I'm moving toward, you know what I mean? So it's just, uh, yeah, it's a more polished version of arena rap meets Trump music, some psycho bites, rock, country, hip hop, all the shit that we love, you know, Slim American shit. Yeah, yeah. 
I mean, with the transition going from, like you said, like uh, the, the rock and roll and, and, and keep still keeping elements, of course, of hip hop involved in it, do you ever worry about possibly getting pigeonholed as like the next Fred Durst or the next Kid Rock or anything like that? Or is that just like not even on your radar? Yeah, I'm kind of my own thing, man. I, I, mean, I, make, I make that pretty clear with records that I put out, you know? But, uh, you can't reinvent the wheel, you know? I mean, at the end of the day, we're making music, yeah. you know? And uh, that's all it is. You know, I, my my identity is my home. I've been inspired by many, many people before me, yeah. and hopefully, I'm inspiring people that will come after me. And, you know, it takes years to establish that credibility of you know someone coming after me, and then them you asking that next guy, "Are you afraid of being called the next Yellow Wolf, or are you afraid of being yeah. called the next?" You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Eventually, it'll just be the people are just gonna be like, oh, that's that yellow shit. Yeah, you know, like, yeah, yeah. you know, that's the point. Yeah, hopefully. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so no, I don't plan on getting pigeonholed. Fuck that. And you mentioned till it's gone, of course. Uh, great song, I love it. Um, it appeared on the newest season of Sons of Anarchy. Yeah. Is that ever something that you would like to lead into doing, and possibly will you show up on a show like Sons of Anarchy? I definitely go on a tour. Parents for sure. I mean, if it, if it makes sense culturally and, and it matches my style, you know, because I'm not an actor, man. You know? Yeah. So I'm sure that I could do it, but I'm covered in tattoos and shit, man. Like, so are they. I am who I am, <laughs> you know. So yeah. I can't really play any role but me, you know. Yeah. Or someone that looks just like me. Just exactly a like you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and acts just like I do. And, so, you know, it would have to make sense. So, but, yeah, I, would, I wouldn't mind doing it. What are some of the, you know, biggest misconceptions uh, that people may have about Yellow Wolf, you know, when, 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 whether it be a fan, a critic, or just people in general? What do you think some of the biggest misconceptions that they may have if you are? I think it may be the biggest misconception right now is that uh, the label is holding my record back. And okay. it's, it's exactly the opposite. We. When I say we, I mean myself, Marshall, my manager, and his manager, Paul, as a group, have, you know, strategically put this together, you know what I mean? And everything that we're doing is well thought about and planned, you know what I mean? And love story is, it means a lot to all of us, so, you know. I think that that's probably the biggest misconception. It's like love stories never coming out, or this is the new detox. It's like, man, mm. come on, we we we're continuously putting out music. A, you know, I, yeah, yeah. So, so we it, kill that noise. That I, yeah, it, you know, love story is on the way, and um, I can't wait for people to hear it. You know, okay. Every record's going to build up the right attention for it. You know? Word up, word up. Um, finally here, uh, the name of my site is Split Breaks, splitbreaks.com. I'm very curious how Yellow Wolf, aka Catfish Billy, aka the self proclaimed king of the lowlifes, how does he enjoy a split break when he gets around to it? And... <sighs> Too much whiskey, my friend. <laughs> Too much whiskey, that's all I could say. Man. That's usually when you're leaning towards it maybe a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> I mean, like, you know, I... I yeah, I kind of, it's a bless. It's, I've kind of cursed myself with the Jack Daniels thing, you know what I mean? <laughs> Everybody wants to drink Jack <laughs> yeah. with you now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I get plenty of that. Um, so, that's that's how I get, get away, man, drinking, unfortunately, you know what I mean? Fucking, that's just my creed, man. So, uh, I get rowdy. I don't really lay back, you know? I go from... You know, zero to 60, you know, real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, bottoms up. Thank you very much for your time tonight, Yellow Wolf. Yeah. Yeah, man, enjoy your time tonight here at Van City, okay? Yeah. All right, peace out. Thanks for having us, man. Later. We got some tall music fans in the fucking house today. Let's party.